What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Happy? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about diets. What is the best diet? What's the best diet for weight loss? What's the best long-term diet? I'm sure you guys know there are extremists out there. Just like politics, there are extreme Republicans, there are extreme Democrats, and there's like other parties that you're, you're, you're not even sure what they represent, but you know that they're out there. Yeah, same thing with diets. There are extreme vegans out there. There are extreme low carbers out there. You have total extremes on the opposite sides of the spectrum. I wanna talk about who's right. Is being low carb better than being high carb? Is being vegan better than eating animal meats and animal products? First of all, there is no optimal diet. <laughs> Yes, there is no optimal diet for everyone. It doesn't exist. There are so many people out there. There are so many diets out there. Why do you think there are so many diet books and diet plans, diet programs, diet pills, magazines that promote different diets and they sell? And you know why? It's because 99% of these people, they try this diet and it works. Majority of them do lose weight. But, is it sustainable? And, do you care more about weight loss or do you care more about fat loss? There is a difference. A lot of women, they would say, yeah, I want to lose weight. I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to lose 20 pounds. But do you really want to lose pounds or do you want to lose fat? They have this idea in their head, like, if I, if I lose 20 pounds, I'll look like this supermodel here or this fitness person here but that's not the case anyone can drop pounds it's easy you can eat 1000 calories in cookies every day and lose weight will you get the body that you always dreamed of probably not no but you will lose weight so same thing with all these different diets. They will make you lose weight in the short term, but it's not sustainable. And you need to look for a diet that's sustainable and something that you enjoy doing. If you hate chicken, you hate tuna, and yet the diet plan you're on is making you eat chicken and tuna every day, you really think that you're gonna keep this up for the long term? No. The most important thing that you need to do is figure out what foods you like, what foods you don't like. What are your moral beliefs? Are you against eating animal products? If you are, then probably being vegan is better for you or being vegetarian in that case. And it really depends on your activity level, preferences, and your genetics. That's how you choose what diet is best for you. So where do you start? There's three main groups, high carb and low fat. And then there is the balanced approach where you have moderate fats, moderate protein, and moderate carbs. And then the last group of people, you have low carb and high fat. The three main groups of diets. So which one would be best for you? Well, let's go through them, shall we? And you guys know I eat keto. Just because I eat keto, it does not mean that I think that keto is the best diet. It works for me. This is something that I enjoy doing. A lot of people would say it's not sustainable. Well, I'm living proof that it is sustainable. I've been eating this way for over two years now and I love it and I don't see myself going back to eating what I used to eat, cereal and breads and pastas. Yes, don't get me wrong, they're delicious, but the way I am, the way my body reacts to them, 
and the way I feel after eating it, it doesn't make me happy. I'll explain more later. It doesn't mean that I think carbs are evil or I think carbs are bad. They're not at all. If I can eat carbs successfully and lose weight, I, don't you think I would be doing that? Yes, I would. And I, I did do that in the beginning. I was eating carbs and I was losing weight, but I wasn't happy. And like I said, I'll talk about that later. A successful diet is one that's focused on primarily whole foods rather than meal replacements or prepackaged foods. Quest bars, I'm looking at you. Meal replacement foods or prepackaged foods can be beneficial once in a while, but it's not something that your diet should be based primarily out of. There's quick weight loss clinics that promote low calorie diets. These clinics and these places, they advocate liquid shakes, their own brand of food. I just wanna talk about the clinics and, and the places that sell their own prepackaged foods for weight loss. I don't wanna say the brand, but I know quite a few people. They lose weight and they start selling this brand to other people and other people see that they're losing weight like oh my god she lost like 20 pounds using these shakes and blah 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 first of all it's not sustainable because it doesn't teach you how to eat it just teaches you that you need to eat five shakes a day these shakes specifically to lose weight and you know what are you gonna eat these shakes forever are you planning to keep buying these products forever you're not gonna eat real food to just spend your money on shakes every day for the rest of your life or until like you're, I don't know, 60. But most people, they probably keep this up for a year and they realize how much money they're spending and then they go back to eating regular food and they get fat if not even fatter than they were before. <sighs> but I'm trying to say that as soon as the person abandons this program or they decide not to purchase these foods anymore there's no way for them to sustain this weight loss because they don't know how to eat what's the best diet for you that's what you have to ask yourself not what's the best diet out there what's the best diet that is specific to your activity level to your genetics and your specific situation. If you're someone who's a hard gainer, it's hard for you to gain weight, or someone who has a high activity job, a high carb diet would be good for you. If you're someone who doesn't have a problem with eating carbs, you don't feel sluggish after, and you have a, a decent activity level, maybe you have an office job but you work out two or three times a week, a moderate approach to dieting, so maybe 30% of your calorie sources is from fats, 30% from protein, and 40% from carbs. I would say that kind of approach where it's split evenly would be most optimal for you. And then if you're someone who, as much as you love carbs, but carbs don't love you back, when you eat your lunch, and you feel tired after, like you're, you're gonna go into a food coma, you don't get energy after you eat a banana. If you're those kind of people, then maybe a low carb diet would be best for you. I would try to eat toast with some Nutella and a banana to give me energy before heading to the gym. Everybody says, oh, banana, it gives you energy, it's the best pre-workout, blah, blah, blah. It didn't work for me, it didn't. My stomach would just hurt. I don't know why. I, I would change my pre-workout banana to oatmeal. I would still feel tired. I would feel lethargic. And it's because my body does not respond to carbs the way it should be. Also, I want to mention I am a carb addict. I used to eat bowls upon bowls of cereal and not feel full. It's annoying. <sighs> my camera died so like i was saying basically the best diet for you is one that you can stick to that incorporates 
foods that you enjoy eating. A diet is not supposed to make you miserable. A diet is not supposed to make you hate life. And you have to think of it, like I said before in my previous video, it's a lifestyle change. And you shouldn't think of it as something short term. A diet should nourish your body and food should be your fuel. And you want to fuel your body with the most nutritious, whole, unprocessed foods as much as possible. And just by incorporating whole, unprocessed foods into your diet, you should see some drastic changes to your body. Not only will you feel more energized, you'll also feel fuller longer. Eating a Quest Bar, even though it has the same macros as a piece of chicken with peanut butter, it's not gonna satiate you the same way a piece of chicken with peanut butter would. So just try doing that. If you don't know where to start, I suggest being more mindful of how certain types of foods make you feel. Like I said, if you live a pretty active lifestyle, then probably a high carb diet would be best for you. And if you live a pretty sedentary lifestyle where you work an office job and you just sit on your butt all day, maybe trying a low carb lifestyle would be best for you too. Or maybe doing a moderate approach. 30% of your intake is from fats and 30% from protein and 40% from carb. I feel like that's the most ideal diet. Honestly, you don't know what the best diet is for you unless you try it. Bye. What about a hit? Say bye. bye. Start to shake. Start to shake with your head. Whatever.